Hello again, I am Blunty. Have you heard about Google Glass? I sure hope so, because I'm not going to explain it to you, and this video is all about it. So Google were running a competition of sorts for Google Glass. Basically, you'd use the hashtag, hashtag if I had glass, uh, on Google Plus or Twitter to explain why in 50 words or less, accompanied by three images or less, and up to a 15 second video, what you would do if you had Google Glass. And I guess they're looking for wildly creative and inspirational and things they haven't thought of. And Man, is there a mountain of insipid, vapid crap in the If I Had Glass stream on either Twitter or Google Plus from people who seem utterly convinced that they're far more interesting and creative than they actually are and just want to, I want to share my entire life as it happens. Nobody cares about your pissy little life. But what do you expect? I mean, it's a competition where the winners don't actually get a prize. They're only the the, the, the prize, as it were, is the opportunity to spend $1,500 of their own hard-earned cash to buy a set of Google Glass um, instead of sort of winning one. Is Google that poor? Can't they just give away a bunch of these things to real creative people, developers and, you know, influencers out there uh, to get the Google Glass ball rolling a bit hardcore-like? I, I don't understand why they're running a competition for people to buy their own. It, it's ridiculous. It seems like a really stupid way to say, I'm sorry, we can't make enough of these things. Now, for what it's worth, I'd probably use them as a supplemental tool for my photography. I'd use it for location scouting, for hands-free Google Maps guidance to unfamiliar locations, while my hands remain sort of on my real camera and my eyes and face are up and away from my phone. I'm not looking down at the GPS and uh, just I'm looking for the shot and, you know, up in the little corner, I've got the little indication of turn left at the fork in the road, turn left. Um, I'd hope that it could tie in with an app like the Photographer's Ephemeris. If you don't know about that, you should. Um, again, I'm not going to explain it to you. Um, well, I, I want it to tie in with that. So with some augmented reality stuff, I could predict and track the path of the sun and the moon just by looking around. Uh, so I could plan and prepare for photographs and time lapses and stuff like that. It'd be really cool. Um, maybe I'd even use it to produce first-person perspective tutorial and guidance videos for photography for my YouTube channels here. Uh, see what I see, watch how I look around and how I set up a shot and how I'm setting up the camera. Um, it's a popular request that I get here on the channel and something that I haven't done much of, you know, the how-to stuff, the photography for newbies type videos. A lot of people keep asking for them and, you know... One of these days I'll get around to doing them, I guess. I think I'd also like to try wearing it for a twist on the candid street photography type thing. Uh, catch all the slightly bemused faces of people wondering what the frick I'm wearing on my face. It's like, hmm? 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 Uh, now, this isn't an official entry for that competition, by the way. For a start, it's far too long. It's not 15 seconds long. It's not three images. It's not 50 words or less. Secondly, I've not got $1,500 to throw away on a pair of Google Glasses, even though I am very interested in them. They seem like a really cool tech product, and I'm all about the cool tech products and nerdy, geekery, gadgetry stuff. You know that if you're a regular viewer. Um, thirdly, the deadline has just passed. I think as this video uploads, the deadline is officially over, so this can't be an official entry, even if Google decides to ignore all the other rules just for me because I'm that fucking fantastic. So, I will wind up with a pair of Google Glass, I'm sure. I'm not sure when, or how, or how much I'm prepared to spend for them, but I do want to pair. So, I guess now that the competition is over, I can just, you can, I can ask you guys to leave what you would do with a pair of Google Glass. Um, and there, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to one of Google's promotional videos for Google Glass, so if you don't know enough about it, you can get an idea of what it's all about. Then come back and, and tell us what the hell you would do with a pair of Google Glass stapled to your face. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I am Lanty and I will catch you next time.